I'm Dr. Robert Paskin. I'm an associate professor of meteorology here at St. Louis University. I've been here for almost 40 years. Um, I am also program director for the Quantum Weather Project, which is an Ameren, Missouri, St. Louis University joint project. Tropical depression number nine, which is the precursor to um, Hurricane Hermione, began in the Gulf um, as an invest, what's called an invest, which is the precursor to um, what would be a tropical depression. Um, what it amounts to is as forecasters see that something is liable to happen in terms of convection and the satellite and radar imagery that shows up, so they begin the warning process, which is what's called an invest. Um, the convection eventually developed in the Gulf sufficiently and became organized, so it became tropical depression, um, number nine, TD9 as it was referred to. It's in the Gulf of Mexico, and because it is in the Gulf of Mexico, the water's temperature in the Gulf of Mexico is in the mid-80s. Um, there were very light winds. There's no, nothing aloft that would cause the storm to be sheared and torn apart, and so it developed into um, tropical storm, um, Hermione. It came ashore last night at about 9 o'clock um, as a hurricane, Category 1, on the Saffir Simpson scale and that means that the winds are about 70 miles an hour. Um, the interesting thing is, is Florida has not had a hurricane come ashore in the last 10 years, and so there's an awful lot of tree growth, branches, and the like, and a lot of the damage that's going to be done um, is going to be in the form of vegetation being torn up, and then those become missiles, which then cause damage to people's houses um, and property and lives. Um, right now, it's roughly in the middle of Georgia, um, it will go across Georgia and back out into the Atlantic um, over the next 24 hours. Um, it will, because it's now ashore and it doesn't have the source of, of energy that it had in the Gulf of Mexico, it's dropped from a hurricane back down into a, a tropical storm. When it gets back out into the Atlantic, there's a possibility that it will turn back into a hurricane. Um, but it will at least maintain itself as a tropical storm and move up along the coast. The interesting thing that's going to happen um, over the next few days, um, and at this point forecasters are divided, is whether or not the storm will recurve um, to the north, northwest, um, like Hurricane Sandy did. Um, current models are split roughly 50-50. Um, there's one group of models that say it will recurve and come back ashore um, in the Delmarve Peninsula. The other half of the models say that it's going to go out to sea um, and stay away from the coast. But nonetheless, um, the Washington, D.C. area, Delmarve Peninsula, even if it does go out, out to sea, is going to experience 6 to 10 inches of rain over the next few days.